This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to the episode of Rent and Just Rants, the show where I rant and rave on something in the world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside. This week in my crosshairs, I've got cable TV. And why, oh why, don't we have some sort of a la carte subscriptions? I was scrolling through my channels, realized I've got 300 channels and I probably watched 19 of them. And it became infuriating. And then I saw the news and Senator John McCain proposing a bill to alleviate this. So let's talk about it. This is Rent and Just Rants. Go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna make a confession to you guys because you've known each other for years. I'm gonna be honest. Over the weekends, I wanted to watch the World Series of Poker and I wanted to watch a marathon of the show Pawn Stars. And I said pawn in the show where they go through all the pawn shops and they show what people are buying and selling and all kinds of cool stuff. I learned about history that way and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was trying to find the channels and I was scrolling through and scrolling through and scrolling through and I went through page after page after page after page to finally find the network and I realized I'm paying for all those channels that I never watched in my life. I'm looking at you, Hallmark Channel. I'm looking at you, Oprah's Network. I'm looking at you, all the other stuff out there that I've never even seen and have programming that I have no interest in watching yet somehow I have to pay for it. For example, if I want to get the sports channels I love to watch, I got to subscribe to about 14 other channels that I am never going to use in languages I don't even speak. So it got me thinking, why can't we just cut the cord and subscribe to the networks that we want to watch? I know a lot of you have tried to cut the cord and bring all your TV online to use Hulu Plus and Netflix and some streaming options, but it just doesn't work to get everything you want and to watch stuff live, at least for me. So I'm not the only one out there that feels this way. Evidently, Senator John McCain, yes, that Senator John McCain who ran for president a few years ago, trying to make life easier, essentially set up an a la carte system for TV. So if you only want to watch ABC and Fox and ESPN, they only pay you for ABC, Fox and ESPN. I don't know why we don't already have this, actually. Rhetorical question. I absolutely know why. Greed. We've got an oligopoly here for the cable companies and the satellite companies. There aren't that many choices. And they all cahoot in the back to set prices that are pretty much universal that no one can come in and undercut. If you've got Cox, if you've got Comcast, at and UVerse, and the rest of them, if you've got DirecTV, or you've got Dish Network, all the prices except for promotions are always almost identical. So whichever way you go, you're still stuck paying for things that you don't want. Now, I understand that people are paying for things they don't want all the time, but when it comes to TV, I think it's time we should have some choice. And I'm hopeful that Senator McCain's bill is going to go through and we can finally say, I don't want that garbage. I don't need that garbage. I only want the stuff that I want to watch. Well, I know my wife watches the Food Network and she likes to watch some of the wedding shows and that's fine. We'll pay for those. I like to watch sports. That's fine. We'll pay for those. But why the other 280 channels do we have to pay for in order to get that? And why are they all bundled into packages? Perhaps make the packages even smaller so you don't, and don't laugh at that joke. Perhaps you can make it even smaller so you don't have to have all these crazy channels you never watch. It's just absolutely infuriating. I was going through and it took me almost 17 page presses to get to the movie channels. Why, oh why do we have all this stuff out there? Why isn't there a way in some service that can just give us the options to pay for what we want? And I know there's backdoor deals between the network and the cable writers. That's probably never going to happen. But I'm fingers crossed that good will triumph over evil and that greed will eventually not win out. And we can have only what we need. At least that's my hope. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Do you wish you could have this? Are you happy with the way your systems work? Or if you're not in the United States, what kind of cable or satellite systems do you have? How do you get your TV? I'd love to hear from you guys. Or if you're doing some sort of weird online thing, I want to know what it is you're doing so maybe I can do it too. Well, let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Full Sail University. You know that the mobile app industry is on fire right now and Full Sail University's mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skill set you need to take advantage of all those emerging opportunities. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, you get access to a brand new MacBook Pro, you get iOS and Android devices, you've got all the tools you need to begin getting your development on. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online development program, which maximizes capabilities on the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. So between the App Store and Google Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded, and that is growing every single day. So if you're ready to master technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more. Again, that's fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more. So thank you guys for watching the episode of Rent and Just Rants. Do you agree, disagree, do you care at all? I want to hear your thoughts. Please give this video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video.